Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to create new channel points rewards in Polypop Live. Because now you can create channel points rewards in the app itself, without having to go to your Twitch creator dashboard and go through all the steps that were previously required. Now, beside the fact that this will make your life much easier, creating the channel points reward in Polypop Live will give you the control to activate them and deactivate them via Polypop Live live while you live stream. And this is really exciting because this will allow you to create specific rewards for specific scenes. So for example, you'll be able to create a scene with one set of rewards and once you switch to a different scene, your viewers will see a different set of rewards that are more appropriate to that scene. You will also be able to create a kill switch, meaning a hotkey that will deactivate all your channel points or just some of them. So let's say, for example, that you want to have a serious talk for one minute. You can now press that hotkey to make sure that there is no interference. Okay, so let's get started. We'll first need to make sure Polypop is connected to our Twitch account. To do that, let's click on the Open Library button here in the bottom left. And since we'll need to see our library for this tutorial, we'll pin it down to our UI by clicking on this pin icon. And there we go. Now let's click on the plus button in the library panel and from the drop down menu we will choose Twitch alerts. To connect Polypop to our Twitch account we will need to click on the Twitch icon and Polypop will take us to the website and authorize the request. Once our Twitch account is connected we can start adding channel points awards and alerts. And just a reminder that Twitch makes channel points available only to affiliates and partners. So if you're not an affiliate or partner, you will not see the channel points option in your user interface. Now let's have a look at the Twitch alert properties. Make sure the Twitch alerts is selected in the library panel and we can see there are many alerts. And just beneath the cheer alerts, we have the channel points and the app channel point. Now the difference between them is that the first one, the channel points will only show the channel points alerts we already created in other apps or in the Twitch website. So if we'll click on the plus button next to the channel points alerts, we'll be able to choose an alert we already created. In this case, a candy corn alert. Pulling a wire from this alert socket to let's say a candy corn emitter I created before. So let's bring that. We'll create a burst of candy corns whenever someone redeem this alert. And we can click on the test button next to the candy corn alert property to see how it looks like. And we have a separate tutorial for this that we will put a link to in the description below. So now that we've talked about the channel points alerts, let's talk about the app channel points alerts. The app channel points alerts are basically the same alert with one big difference. When we click on the plus button next to it, we can now create a new alert. Because remember before we only had the option to choose an existing alert or if we wanted to add a new alert we needed to go to the Twitch website and go through a long process to create it. Now we can create a new alert just by clicking on the button. Now because we created this alert inside Polypop we have much more control over it. So if we look in its properties we can see all the available options we have. So let's pull out from Twitch the live channel point window. This is what the viewers will see on their live chat while you live stream. We can see that right now we only have one reward. This is the award we just created and its name is Polypop Reward. As we can see both in the channel point properties and in the live chat reward window. This will be the default name for any channel point alerts we'll create in Polypop Live. Changing the alert properties will immediately change the way your viewers see the alert in their chat. So if we rename the reward in the properties window, it will immediately change in the Twitch chat window. So now we have a hydrate award. The same goes for the cost. This will be the number of channel points your viewers will have to pay to redeem this award. We can see that the default amount is 1000 channel points, but we can change it to whatever we want. Let's change it to 200. And we can see that the change on the Twitch chat immediately happened. We can also change the color by clicking on the color and pick a new color we can see how the change happens immediately. And we also have the enable on and off switch, but I will talk about this one in just a little bit. First, let's add a few more channel point rewards. I'm gonna click on the plus button three times, and we can see another three rewards were added to the Twitch chat. 
Now in their properties, let me quickly change their names and their colors. So now we have four different channel point rewards, but remember that in order for these rewards to actually do something on your live stream, you will need to connect them to an alert. So let me just quickly remind you how to do that. Let's pull a wire from the send love on redeem socket. Pulling a wire will show us the action sequence here in the middle. I will connect the wire to the action sequence socket. Let's give the action sequence a name by double clicking the name and type a new one. Now, since this is a send love channel point, let's make it emit some 3D hearts. To do that, we will click on the plus button here in the scene layout, go to the 3D objects category. I will select the heart two and add it as a 3D object emitter. We now have a heart two 3D object emitter layer in our scene layout. Selecting it will show us its properties. Let's change the lifetime from infinite to three seconds. In our action sequence, let's click on the plus button, add a meet alert, pull a wire from that alert and connect it to a meet burst. So now if we'll click on the test button next to the send love channel point rewards alert, we can see that these hearts are being emitted. We can now close our action sequence. Let's test it again. And remember that by pulling a wire from an alert to an action sequence, you can create interesting alerts. And of course, you can make them do more than just emitting 3D objects. You can create alerts that play videos, uh, show text, move your screen, and basically you can be as creative as you want. So now let's learn how to create a hotkey that will switch the channel points alerts on and off. To add a hotkey, let's click on the plus button here in the library panel and choose the hotkey option from the drop down menu. Double clicking the hotkey layer will give us the option to rename it. Let's call it channel point on off. Clicking on the hotkey line in the properties will allow us to assign a key from our keyboard. Let's assign the letter K. So now whenever we will press the letter K on our keyboard, it will activate the hotkey. Now let's assign an action sequence to our on press hotkey socket. Same way as before, we will pull a wire and attach it to the action sequence window. Let's give it a name by double clicking the title. Now let's click on the plus button in the action sequence window to add an alert to the sequence. And now in order for us to connect it to the channel point on and off switch, we will go to the library, click on the twitch alert, find our channel point alert and pull a wire from the action sequence alert to the enable socket in the app channel point. This will give us a small drop-down menu. We can choose off, on, and on and off. I will choose an on and off. So whenever we press K, it will toggle between enabled and disabled. So let's check it out. I'm gonna press the letter K, and we can see that the hydrate alert is now gone. Pressing it again, will put it back in. So now let's connect the other alerts to this action sequence. Let's find them first. And I'm gonna pull a wire to each enable socket of each alert. On and off. And this is the third one. And here is the last one. So let's check it out. I'm gonna press the letter K and we can see that all the alerts are gone. Pressing it again will bring them all back. Now that we know how it works, we can use the same workflow to change the alerts we have in different scenes. To show you how to do that, I added a second scene to the project, but before we'll see how it looks, let's close the action sequence window. Clicking on scene two in the scene switcher will take us to that scene. We can see that in both scenes, we have the same in-app Twitch alerts. So if you want these alerts not to be shown when we switch to scene two, we will have to create an action sequence that will take us to scene two and disable these alerts. And by now we actually know how to do it. So let's do it. First, let's add a new hotkey by clicking the plus button in the library and choose the hotkey option from the drop down menu. Now let's give it a new name and assign a key on our keyboard. This time let's choose the letter T. Now let's connect our hotkey to a new action sequence by pulling a wire from the on press socket to the action sequence window. Give it a new name 
and click on the plus button in the action sequence window and choose emit alert. So our first alert will take us to scene number two. We can do that by pulling a wire from this alert and connect it to the scene two socket. Let's give this alert a name so we will not get confused. Now let's add another alert to the action sequence that will disable all the app channel point by clicking on the plus button, choose emit alert, then go to the library, click on the Twitch alert, and connecting this alert to all the app channel points disable socket. Just like we did before, but this time I'm going to choose the off option from the drop down menu on all alerts. So now let's test it. I'm going to press the T key on my keyboard and if everything works correctly, it will take us to C number two and turn off all the channel points. So let's press T. And there you go, it worked. Switching to scene two disabled all the channel points. Now let's quickly create a new hotkey that will take us back to scene one and enable all these channel points. Okay, so I just created a new hotkey. Pressing on it will take us to scene one and enable all the channel points. And there we go. Now, whenever we switch between the scenes, the channel points change accordingly. So that's it. You now know how to create and use the app channel points and also how to create a hotkey that will disable and enable them. It's also important to note that if you have different live streaming shows, you can now use different app channel points for each show separately and you don't even have to worry about it because your viewers will only see the channel points of the show you're using. So for example, if you have one setup for when you play, let's say Minecraft and another for Fortnite, you can add different channel points to each project. And when you open that project, your viewers will only see the channel point of that show. And that gives you a lot of flexibility and an easy workflow because now you will not have to go to your Twitch dashboard before each stream and organize it. And your viewers will see only the relevant channel points when you live stream. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.